Thank you for joining us again on another one of our Pray TV programs. Obviously, we are very thankful that you take time to prioritize prayer. That's what this program is all about. It is a prayer program. Charlotte is here with me, and we just simply want to be an encouragement in your prayer journey. Charlotte, would you just share a little word? I am so thankful to the Lord and to you for spending these few moments with us today. We just are so um, appreciative of you and your just desire to take these moments in God's presence with us. Well, we thank you and we just always thank the Lord. We thank the Lord for you. We thank the Lord for what he is doing. We thank him for how he's giving us grace to be able to continue and to be strengthened day in and day out. We're very grateful for how God is working, even in the midst of the difficult times of what we would call this pandemic. And we know that it is subsiding across the earth, and we're very, very thankful to the Lord for that. But we obviously know that we need to stand and be strengthened in God. And the Lord does have something for us to flourish in, and we're going to share this with you. It's from Psalm 92, and we're looking at verses 12 through 15, and we're reading today from the New International Version of the Bible. It says, the righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. And they will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock. The Lord is our rock and our salvation. And Charlotte, I know that you've got something to be able to share about this. Would you just do that, my dear? We know that our righteousness is in God. We do not have it on our own. We cannot make it happen. But we know that as we follow after the Lord with all of our hearts, that his nature becomes more and more implanted in us. And years ago, Brad and I, we both have known and knew older people who just shone with the radiance of the Lord, who had walked with the Lord for many years, who had made God and loving God and receiving from the Lord the priority of their lives and giving out to others as well. And I used to look at them and I used to really say, God, that's what I want to be because there was such a sweetness and freshness and life about them. And now we find ourselves older. <laughs> Would you cause us, Lord, to just be like that cedar tree that was the, one of the strongest trees in the Bible? Just a beautiful tree, the palm tree that could have, uh, have water and life and just resilience. So we just want to just encourage your hearts today that this is the Lord's desire for each of us. We know it's a process of maturing. It doesn't just come overnight, but God is very faithful in this process. The Lord is faithful and he'll be faithful to you. You need to be aware that he is going to take you through trials and tribulations in life. Life is not easy. It has never been promised to be easy. I actually believe, I've come to believe through living of my life, I've come to accept the fact that this earth is like a marine boot camp. It is a place to be able to get in shape for heaven. And that's what God is desiring to do. But he is going to meet these needs in your life. And I can't help it, Charlotte, when I, when I was reading this particular portion of Scripture, it was making me to think of, of that tree that Dr. Elijah Kim gave to us that was little more than a twig back a few years ago. And, and it got, I, I carried, because it was a, a tropical 
uh, tree. It actually was a fir tree, but it was for it was from the tropics, and it couldn't stay outside in the winter time because we live up, live up here in the cold northeast part of the United States. And so Charlotte had me march this thing in and out of the house, up and down for year after year after year until I said, I just can't do this anymore because it's in a, a big pot and it's really heavy and it's really tall. It was way taller than me. And so we brought it down here to our church, Lion of Judah, and we set it up. And it's there for many people to be able to enjoy now. And we're so grateful for that. But this is how things are. And God has given us these words that we will be able to flourish like a palm tree or, or like the cedars of Lebanon, or we would be able to be bearing fruit even into our old age. And, and you know what? We're still bearing fruit. And, and some of you might even be a part of that fruitful nest that, that is a part of our lives that we are grateful for. We're so thankful because God is at work, both to will and to do of his good pleasure in all of us. I'm going to reread this portion. And again, it is from Psalm 92. And we are looking at verses 12 through 15 in the New International Version of the Bible, which says, the righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age and will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock. And we do that, Charlotte. We simply agree with the scriptures. We agree with how God has declared himself to be. And we say back to him every day, Lord, you are my rock. You are the one that I hide in. You are the place of my dwelling. And I am committed to you. And Charlotte, I know that you've got some things to be able to just pray into this. And so lead us, dear. Thank you. Lord, we thank you that it's your desire that we flourish, that we grow in you, Lord, that our lives, God, are productive and we reproduce, Lord, in the lives of others, God, what you have planted in us, Father. Father, we are the planting of the Lord. Your word says that, God. And you are a phenomenal gardener. And you watch over us and you prune us and you send your refreshing rains upon us, Lord, for the purpose, God, of just coming into all the fullness that you desire for us to live in, God, and not for ourselves alone, but for the sake of others, Lord, that we might, Father, be to them a wellspring, Lord, a, a, a tree, Lord, that bears fruit for your glory, God, and reproduces in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, that you are doing this in our lives. Amen. And whether you are old or young, you are destined to be able to bear fruit for the entirety of your life to be able to show forth his praise so father we pray into that we ask lord that you will just give evidence of fruitfulness lord predict productiveness the ability to be able to bring forth after our kind and lord we want to see that beauty of jesus manifested in each and every one of our lives. And Father, I pray for this person who feels shriveled right now, who feels as though they may not be well nourished. Father, I know it is your desire by the outpouring of your Holy Spirit to refresh every person and to give us that wholeness that you desire for us to walk in. To live in and so Lord we pray productivity not just earthly productivity but productivity for heaven's sake bringing the life of God may the life of God pour through you this day as you pray may you be strengthened in every which way receive his anointing allow the Spirit of God to be able to refresh you even now as it says they will stay fresh 
and green and be proclaiming. Father, we are wanting to be among those who are proclaiming, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock. And so, Father, we thank you for doing this. Fortify your people, strengthen your people this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.